Now I'm away from my comfort zone here. I've got so used to that warm studio. I've left all behind and I'm here with some gorgeous donkeys and equally gorgeous humans from the donkey sanctuary here in Cork. We have Trina and we have Joe. Now Trina O'Mahony, you are working with the donkey sanctuary full time and you rescued like literally hundreds of donkeys every year, 500 last year alone. That's right Mara, we have over 1800 donkeys in our care at the moment. It's so busy and we have about a thousand donkeys in Lascarle. We've yeah. got a big open farm that people come visit. We're open every day of the year and we get donkeys in from all over the country, um, some from really bad conditions yeah. and some from really good homes like Molly and Jenny. Yeah, this is Molly and Jenny, mother and daughter team. And Jenny is the bigger one, is it? Or That's right, yeah. Jenny is the, the daughter. daughter. She's, She's eight, eight years old. Yeah. yeah. And Molly is 14. She's the yeah. mom. Now, they were handed in by people who just couldn't take care of them any longer, but they were very well treated the whole way along and all that, so they're great. Yeah. But we have some dreadful stories of donkeys who've been treated very badly, and I know we're going to show some footage here now. Um, this is Thawhi Bug, this little donkey, nothing to do with our Thawhi now. And tell us about Thawhi, we're showing a photograph from now, tell us about him. Yeah, so Dahi Bug, a member of the public, rang us in and said that two donkeys had been abandoned on a waste ground in North Cork. So our welfare advisors went to the scene straight away to find one dead donkey and then to find Dahi Bug, just left there in a waste ground, no access to food, shelter such a distressing sight and so distressing for the donkey yeah and uh, Joe Collins Dr Joe Collins is a vet of course I mean that is very difficult because the donkeys are naturally herd animals and they bond for life they're great companions they, they tend to be very much uh, paired as pairs so when we rehome donkeys they're very typically yeah. as pairs they are very focused on each other and we have real veterinary health problems when one donkey dies, for example, just as you've described with Dahi Biog. So the remaining donkey very often suffers an acute attack of stress, and uh, illness and trauma and uh, can cause us some real difficulties. And unfortunately, we don't save all of those donkeys. It's that yeah. serious. Well, Dahi Bug has a lovely, lovely, happy story. Look at him here, a big, lovely, smiley photo of Dahi Bug. So that's really, really good. Now, the next donkey is Nullig, and we're going to show some footage here. This is very disturbing. In this training, we can see that the hooves are overgrown, and he's totally and utterly neglected, this donkey. Yeah, horrible neglect. Donkeys actually need to see a farrier every six to 10 weeks, yeah. and Nullig hadn't seen a farrier in a number of years, if ever. Yeah. Uh, he was just left in the middle of a field, no shelter. Donkey's coats aren't waterproof, yeah. so they don't cope well out in the rain. So he had developed rain scald. He could barely walk. He was really malnourished. So we brought him into our care then straight away, where yeah. his rehabilitation began. Yeah. And we can see that Joe uh, afterwards mm. that he, he was actually really good in the end. Everything worked really yes. well for him, thank God. So it just shows the, the work that you guys do in the donkey sanctuary is so important. We just want to show one last little donkey. This is a lovely little foal. He was literally only a couple of days old here in this, but we didn't realise, or Joe, you guys didn't realise that he was blind. Well, you wouldn't necessarily realise right when they're immediately born yeah. because um, a mother and a, and a foal have this yeah. instinctive relationship bond, between yeah. each other, a bond. So you wouldn't necessarily see. And then you begin to see some signals that the donkey foal is perhaps not able to see what's around yeah. him that easily and so we began to be suspicious about in this particular case. Now I've seen a number of these foals, donkeys and horses over the years and typically they cope quite well. What we typically do is put a bell yeah. on the mare. Yes. And then when and mama the has a bell. Will run, the babies will run, yeah. Mm. But he's really ended up perfectly well as well. Uh, we should say, really, that to be honest, there's a lot of, st of strain on a charity like yourselves mm -hmm. to have that many donkeys to care for them. I know you, you work very hard to do this, mm -hmm. but donkeys can be rehomed, and you, you've got a great program. Yeah, we have 460 donkeys rehomed throughout the country, and they make the most fantastic pets. And we appeal to everyone who's watching now today if you have an acre of land and a shelter please get in touch and consider our rehoming scheme we hold donkey care courses that teach you all you need to know yeah. about caring mm -hmm. for donkeys and yeah. it's a fantastic thing to do and it's great joe because you don't just abandon the people with the donkey in the sense you've got a lot of aftercare oh, no. programs oh absolutely you? we have a team of people in on the ground right across 32 counties on the island and they regularly visit the home they offer whatever advice or support is necessary yeah. uh, which could be feeding nutrition advice farriery whatever is required to keep those donkeys in the perfect yeah. health in those homes and we're so grateful yeah to guardians who take those donkeys on because without them, well, we would be even more overrun with numbers than we are currently. I know, currently. you can only have a finite amount of donkeys. I have to say, now, we always had donkeys when we were kids. They were working donkeys down to the shore to get the wheat and all that. But now donkeys can be great pets. And you know what? They're great companions if you have a horse on its own and all that as well. Mm -hmm. Joe, thank you very much. And Trina, thanks for coming in. We're going to put all the details onto our great. website because obviously charities like the Donkey Sanctuary need, yeah. need cash to going. people can donate this Christmas, we would be so grateful. Brilliant. If you just look on our website, there's loads of different options to donate. Set up a direct debit. Remember us in your legacy.
We'd be Lovely. delighted. Lovely. How much does it cost to keep a donkey for a year, around? Uh, well, if you factor everything in, including yeah. some veterinary fees, yeah. nutrition, a couple of, a few hundred euro. Brilliant. Okay, well, that we need that then. Thank you very much, Thank both you very of much. you. And thanks to Molly and Jenny as well. They're enjoying their carrots. Now it's back inside to Dohi.